Stay back, whatever you are. I'm warning you. No, I'm out of plungers. No, it's a dead end. Please, I don't know what you want, but I'll do it. It doesn't have to end like this. Ah! Who was that? A noise that loud? Has to be Speaker Man. We should go check on him. <gasps> My god! Speaker Man? Speaker Man, can you hear us? We have to figure out who did this. This place has been on lockdown for weeks, so it had to have been someone on the inside. Let's get him to the lab and see if they can figure anything out. And he was like this when you found him? Yes, sir. And there was no one else at the scene of the crime. Whoever it was got out of there fast. Fascinating. I mean, unfortunate, but still interesting. He's got a clean hole right through the speaker. Could be a gunshot or some sort of plasma ray. That's weird. The speaker woman was watching. Wait a second. I just remembered something. I was just minding my business the other day when suddenly I heard something. I was worried Speaker Man was hurt, so I, I poked my head in. Take that! Huh. You really thought you were a match for me? And I saw the two of them fighting. I was shocked. I always thought they were two good friends. Maybe something more? At the time, I thought that maybe they were just sparring. It was the training room, after all. But now, I'm, I'm not so sure. I think she might have just become our prime suspect. If anyone's got a motive, it sounds like her. You two better go investigate. I'll see what I can do with Speaker Man. If I'm lucky, I'll find out what happened to repair him, but no promises. We're going to avenge him. Just you wait. seem surprised to see us. You hiding something? I saw Speaker Man on the table. Is he okay? Did something happen? I think that I should be asking you that question, considering you two were seen brawling the other day. You saw that? No, it's not what it looked like. We were just messing around. I was real sloppy in that last battle with the Skibbities. I can't hide behind weapons all the time. I need to improve my hand-to-hand -hand combat. A little sparring never hurt anyone. Don't go easy on me. I would never. Okay, maybe go a little easy. Speaker Man just wanted to train with me. I mean, who wouldn't? I practically carry the Alliance on my back. But I swear, me totally kicking his butt was something he asked for. And at the end of the day, I think I did help him. I'm sorry, Speaker Woman, but I have a hard time believing that. I think we need to take you into custody for the murder of Speaker Man. Are you serious? I would never... No, get away from me! Come back here! Just confess and we'll go easy on you. No way! I'm not gonna confess to a crime I didn't commit. Did you get her? TV Man? Oh no! Maybe TV Man's our next victim. I've got to save him. I just turned the corner and found her like this, I swear. Help me take her back to the lab. Same type of wound. Still no leads? None. Anything changed with Speaker Man? What the? Where did it go? My god, I only turned my back for a second. Look! We don't have much time before there's another victim. We have to follow them. I knew it! What? There's no way you knew it. And I know TV woman well. She's crazy, but she'd never commit murder. The proof's right in front of us. She must have snuck in and moved the body, trying to hide the evidence. TV woman, stop right there! TV woman! No! Cameraman! TV woman! TV woman! No! Ugh. What happened? Why don't you tell me? You were the one in here when she died. As soon as I rushed in, something smacked me upside the head. I fell over onto the ground, and when I looked up, I saw TV woman screaming. Then the flash of a laser, and her body flopping on the ground. That's it. There's no way that's true. 
I didn't see anyone else enter. You must have- Are you accusing me of killing her? It's literally the only possibility. I came in here, you're here, she's dead. Well then how do I know you didn't kill Speaker Woman? What? I'd never do that. Speaker Woman and I are friends, and I'm not a killer. Really? Because it was practically the same thing. By the time I got to her, you two were alone together, and she was dead. I can't believe you turn on me. You started it! <laughs> Any last words before I stomp you out, murderer? TV Man, wait! Look at the hole in her head. I saw it. It's horrific. I don't want to look again. Thank you very much. Look closer. It's smoking? Our plunger guns couldn't do that, and it couldn't be the Titan's plasma beams. They wouldn't fit in this building. This looks like Skibbity Toilet technology. I'm the only one who has access to that. The scientist! Camera scientist! TV woman is dead too, and now you're our number one suspect. Camera scientist! Get out of here, you traitor! Coward! You have to get me out of here! Why should we? This seems like a fitting punishment for a murderer like you. Murderer? What are you talking about? I've been in here for hours! What? Then who's been- <laughs> Well done, boys. You almost figured it out. Camera scientist, we're going to take you into custody. Sure you are. Good luck with that. What the- <laughs> I must admit, Alliance technology is pretty useful. Sometimes, but I didn't really need it to kill you all one by one. What? He's invisible? That's how you snuck in to kill everyone. How is this possible? It would be great if you let me out, by the way. Our cloaking device. Somehow one of the Skibbity toilets must have gotten a hold of our technology from a scientist I took prisoner. The Skibbity? Of course! Show us who you really are! Skibbity disguised as a camera scientist. That makes total sense. Skibbity bop bop. We gotta stop him. We've lost too many comrades already. Your reign of terror ends here. saved us back there. Now that we know the cause of the deaths, maybe I can help repair our fallen friends. <laughs>